Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, back from the uh, Ottawa International Food and Book Expo. We had a, um, as there a lot of people know, a very disturbing um, community alert that took place. Um, I believe it was April 26th, the day before our event. Um, alleging through, uh, basically making a, a completely defamatory libelous post that um, I'm a right-wing extremist, even though I'm a, my idol is a, Tommy, political idol has been Tommy Douglas. I support universal public health care, human rights, eradication of poverty, support to homeless people. I support LGBTQ rights. I've been very active um, in, on all levels of social justice and human rights, volunteer, and, all, and uh, the uh, one organization called, called Community Solidarity Ottawa, um, uh, managed to, out of all the factual information about me online, decided I was going to label me a right-wing extremist and cause mass panic and alarm and exhibitors to withdraw and to, um, you know, just completely destroy the whole and destabilize the whole event. Exhibitors withdraw, visitors did not go, issue a community alert saying that people should avoid the area. We, um, our people, we contacted uh, this organization, uh, Community Solidarity Ottawa. Uh, they refused to provide, they said he had no mailing address. They had no sort of way of, uh, they didn't want to provide a mailing address, which is means quite, um, does not seem to me to be the usual operation of an accountable um, community organization. And today we will find out who exactly are the perpetrators, who are the sick puppies behind uh, the complete uh, defamatory libelous uh, community alert, the so-called community alert that they put out just before the event. We're going to find out who these people are. And then when we find out who these people are, we have a uh, lawsuit uh, ready for them uh, concerning the defamation libel that they perpetrated against me uh, as the event organizer. So we're going to find out who these uh, people are. So this is the organization behind the uh, according to our check of the website, this is the organization behind that fabrication, that defamatory libelous post. Um, so I want everybody to know who is behind this. Uh, obviously, uh, from my background experience in labor relations, um, I would I would understand why they would not want their information to be traced because their information doesn't. They definitely don't, in my view, uh, any organization does not want to provider mailing address that actually has. Um, it's it, inconsistent with accountability. So now we're going to be delivering the litigation against their labeling of me as a right-wing extremist as the basis of crashing the event. Okay, so you have, okay, so this is the, this is what we're delivering for PSAC. We have a recorder for everybody to see. It's a piece of, it's a claim, a litigation against the defamation of PSAC under the guise of Community Solidarity Ottawa. So this is the claim, and this is the litigation that we're, we are, let me see where you get to the right one here. Yep. So this is for PSAC over here. So that's the litigation claim from the court. So you'll make sure you'll, they'll get in the right hands. Perfect, thank you very much for that. So these are the people behind Community Solidarity Ottawa who issued a defamatory libelous post that was a complete fabrication. So now people know who is responsible for the defamate for the so-called community alert on April 26th was orchestrated by PSAC on 233 Gilmore. They are the uh, organization that is responsible on official records for Community Solidarity Ottawa. This or was orchestrated by an official um, labor union regulated by the Canadian Labor Relations Board. A complete fabrication. So these, so now people know the type of unions that now we have in Canada 
my experience with, of unions have been that, and I've been a backer and supporter of the rights of labor and the rights and the unions as instrumental to the type of quality of life that Canadians have. But what we have with this Peace Act here is a complete perversion of the union movement, a police, a complete perversion of the integrity that unions are supposed to have in Canada, that they would, through a uh, proxy website, issue a complete fabricated uh, representation against a community organization for an unknown agenda that's, in, that's completely nefarious, and a complete, I believe, a shock to most Canadians and other people that they would do this. Label me an extreme right wing, right, label me a right wing extremist when I'm completely, that's completely inconsistent about who I am. A complete fabricated community alert. So I want everybody who is who received this community alert to be aware that this community solidarity Ottawa, that, didn't, that these people that didn't want to, to uh, apparently don't, didn't want us to find out who were the perpetrators of this community alert. This is where it came from. It's a PSAC operation. This complete fabrication. And now they will be held account legally accountable for what they did for their fabrication for their libel. They will be held accountable. And all other operatives that perpetrated the uh, defamatory libel against me as the event organizer, they will also be held accountable. So thanks for listening to this and we look forward to any comments you have about this shocking revelation that PSAC is, is instigated that community alert, that so-called community alert on April 26. And now they will be held accountable in through the Ontario court system for their nefarious activities. Thanks for watching this uh, video today concerning the, um, I will endeavor to keep you posted on other developments concerning our investigation of the perpetrators of the defamation against me as the event organizer of Ottawa International Food and Book Expo. Thank you.